Hi you guys, she was seven, I'm back. So let's start off with some fun something funny. Okay, so I'm on YouTube and I'm looking through videos and all of a sudden I see my face on someone's video. I'm like, ooh, is that my video? And I'm looking and it's not. I'm like, oh somebody used my video and put it in theirs. Um and so I click on it to watch, of course, because of course you know, I'm clickbait. <laughs> okay, you see this beautiful face? You gonna click on it, okay? So it was some MGTO 101 dude. And uh, he, he sounded like Robin Leach, y'all. He's from England. He's all talking proper and stuff. Make Basically making fun of me and saying that uh, this, this, and that. But you know what? All publicity is good publicity to me. So y'all, I don't care, okay? Um... Uh, <laughs> The thing is that it took a lot of time to make that video. I mean, you had to download my video from YouTube, get the copyright notice, put the copyright notice up. Ooh, I'm getting texts. Okay. Get the copyright notice up, download it, uh, alter it, slow down the voice, cut, pause, paste. Um, you did a lot of work, so I, I give you thumbs up because... There is no way I'm going to take that much effort in editing a video um, for the sake of uh, promoting another person. But thank you. I, I, I appreciate it. Uh, but the funny thing is, it actually made me laugh. I was cracking up. Okay, I was laughing at this dude's video because it was funny. And... Um, <laughs> Like, I don't take anything personally. I don't take offense to anything, y'all. If, if you can't pay my bills or, you know, if my future does not depend on you, I really don't care about uh, someone else's opinions, okay? Because everybody has them, right? So, I'm looking at this video and I'm just cracking up. Uh, I wish I had the time to actually, you know, do a video like that making fun of someone uh, because y'all know I love to troll. Uh, but, you know, I would never take it to that extreme because I have, you know, other things and better things to do with my life. Uh, but, you know, some people don't, you know, that's why they're probably MGTOW because they have a lot of free time on their hands to, you know, play and, you know, have fun on the internet when they could actually be more ambitious and working towards something so they wouldn't really have to go their own way because women would be throwing themselves at them. <laughs> you know, I keep reading in the comments, some guy keeps putting, and it's so, so hilarious, uh, men that go their own way were not going their own way by choice. They were forced that way because they don't have any other option, okay? Uh, you know, they might say they have women all the time, but they can't stay in a real relationship for a, a probably three months because as soon as the they ask a woman for some money or to pay she's looking at them like they're crazy they're like are you serious you loser move on okay you go on man go your own way because you definitely don't cut it in this in this relationship you can't i can't introduce you to my mom and say oh this is the guy me pay Dutch. No, I can't introduce you to my mom saying, oh, this is the man with his hand out at rent time. <laughs> Look at him. Isn't he dreamy? Look at this dude. He got, Every first of the month, he got his hand out to me like a little kid, you know. Um, I, can, I, I could never introduce. When I got married to my husband, my mom and my dad were like, you know what? You have to take care of her now because you know, we're passing her on to you. You got to take care of her. Every need, every want, don't make, don't make us come for you, basically. Okay. So he already knew, <laughs> like when a woman comes from two, uh, a nice family who took care of her, uh, basically spoiled her, she can't go for somebody with their hand out. You know, mm -mm. we didn't see that in our family. We didn't see daddy going like this to mama. Okay. We didn't see that. So we can't, we can't deal with it so yes after about two or three months dating someone who's mediocre they're gonna get kicked to the to the curb they're really just gonna get kicked to the curb because it's just you know a turn off when a man asks a woman to pay now we're gonna have those women in the comments who are looking for 
male attention because they're single and they're going to disagree with, you know, what I'm saying and that a woman should do this, 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 and that. And yeah, women can do whatever they choose to. If they choose not to want to pay, they should have that option, you know. If, if a woman is taking her time to come and sit with you and talk to your mediocre butt, you need to find a way to pay for it, okay? It's just how it has to be. The thing is... <laughs> If I were a man, now this is the funny part. This this is the gag, kids. Y'all, if y'all follow uh, Kiki, y'all know on Snapchat. This is the gag, kids. Kids. If I were a man, I would be MGTOW too. Why? <laughs> because it is the easiest way out. It is very selfish. It is very feminine. It is very liberating you know and I'm a woman and I love all those things about being a woman so if I were a man I would be pissed off I would be mad that I had to do all this stuff you know I would be mad I was born with a penis uh, and straight if I were straight I would be mad because then I have this responsibility and this role and this expectation put on me and all that kind of stuff I would be mad I would be I would either be gay or I would be MGTOW I am not lying now I will I will bash these people uh, <laughs> to the core but I'm being honest I would not want to be a man mm -mm. just like a lot of men wouldn't want to be women but I don't think a lot of MGTOWs wouldn't want to be women they would want to be women because they're acting like women but when it comes down to childbirth puberty you know, hair, makeup. You know, being a woman is very complicated. Okay? And I think she deserves to be treated like a queen, goddess of the earth, whatever you want to call it, by a man. Okay? This is just my honest opinion. Now, you know, I can understand that seeing how unfair it could be for a man that has to work and pay for the woman and do this and do that. I could see that that would be unfair because a man is like, well, what about me? I, I need some attention too, you know? I, I deserve some attention. What about me, 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 me? Back in the old days, real men were like taking care of business, providing, uh, you know, I hit a household, just, you know, uh, just like a turn on, just like, yeah, I'm gonna take care of that baby. Now they're like, um, can you pay half? Um, um, uh, let's just go for a walk. Um, and you know, just like, oh, seriously, Ugh, this is seriously. Um, so, and even the guys who go their own way and say they just want to have sex with a woman and exploit them and pay for a hooker or whatever you're still supporting a woman you're still putting money in a woman's pocket even if they're a hooker okay and y'all can call me gold digger all y'all want but a gold digger is always better than a slut because a slut does it for free and it feels stupid afterwards and feels bad and you know um has to move on to someone else quickly to get over the last person but a gold digger leaves with something in her pocket a whore leaves with something in her pocket okay a whore is compensated a gold digger is compensated over a long period of time a slut just got tricked okay so y'all can call me gold digger is compliment because what else will i be digging for boogers okay no okay I, yes i will be digging for gold if i'm going to be digging at all and i will be compensated for my time and effort even though I'm married, my husband already knows, you know, if you want to spend quality time with me, you have to put in work. You have to show me that you want to spend quality time with me. You got to make reservations. You got to do this. You got to do that. And I keep my husband chasing me still after all these years. Why? Because if he catches you, you give in too easy. Then he's gonna start chasing somebody else. If he know he's he still don't got you after all these years, he's not gonna his attention's not gonna be anywhere else. He's like, dang, she still won't do this. She still won't do that. Dang, I got I gotta do all this. You know, it keeps them chasing after you, okay? And a lot of people will try to make fun or whatever. Uh, but if your husband's always chasing you because he never caught you, 
and he knows you have other options and will explore them if need be, then he's not going nowhere. He's not going to be looking nowhere else. And he's going to always be like, okay, what do I have to do to please you? Okay. And uh, y'all can copy this video and put it on y'all video. I don't care. I'm looking, I'm looking good today. So when I see this purple wig on, on thumbnail, okay, I'm going to do a, a pose so y'all can see that highlight. It's on flip. Okay. Get that one. Okay. Do that screenshot because that look good. Um, <laughs> so yes, thank you guys so much for promoting my channel, for promoting my videos. I laughed at it. I thought it was cute. I thought it was funny. Uh, like I said, it doesn't offend me that people call me fat. I, I have a scale. I know I look good. You know, big boobs, big butt. Uh... <laughs> What more could I ask for? You know, a lot of people try to get plastic surgery to have some of the features that I do, okay? So I'm not really offended uh, in any way if it's somebody called me fat because my husband will buy me cake, cookies, whatever I like because he knows if I got, if I got thin that he would have a lot of competition. <laughs> so he ain't, he's not trying to put me on no diet. He's not trying to buy me no salad chai. He is trying to keep me just like this so that when I go out and go to the store and go run my errands that I'm not approached by athletes, doctors, lawyers, men with uh, millions of dollars that could easily persuade me to do anything. Okay, which is another reason why I don't have to work because he knows about the work husband. He knows if I'm around a very successful man all day who's in charge and making money and stuff like that, they're going to be attracted to me. Okay? And, you know, I'm not saying I would cheat, but he doesn't want, even want to think about me up under another man for eight hours a day working for another man when I can be here with our kids, helping them with homework, you know, uh, picking them up from school, making sure they get something to eat. He would rather me be here in our household contributing to our house because I don't need to work. He makes enough money, okay? So if y'all have a problem with uh, anything about this video, I know y'all are gonna put it in the comments anyway because y'all don't have anything else better to do. Y'all don't have no women. Y'all don't have a real serious career. So y'all have time to troll. So go at it, have fun. Ladies, get your troll on in the comments too. I know y'all like it. Uh, it is a form of, <clears throat> when you troll in the comments, it's actually a form of like sucking energy from these guys as well because they're so over emotional you can kind of suck their energy from them <laughs> and leave them empty, okay? Um, <laughs> so, you know, a lot of people troll for attention. A lot of people troll to gain energy. A lot of people troll to work on their reading skills. Whatever reason you troll, please feel free to do so in this video. I don't mind it. I, I, I quite like it because it's hilarious. I can laugh. Um, and like I said, if I see this this thumbnail pic on one of y'all's videos, please take this angle. Alright, I'll see y'all later. Bye.